All right, guys, got something cool for you this time. So we've got a hilltop caravan, and what's different about this job, the customer always had the intention of having us fit the electrical system. So we've actually worked with hilltop caravans to do the cable runs and the runs up to the roof for the solar and the HDMI and all that sort of stuff from the factory to make for a cleaner and easier installation. And then we've pushed all the Victron hardware to their limits with Victron planning out all these features like the power assist functionality of their MultiPlus and all that sort of stuff. We've utilized nearly all of it in this job to really make this 12 volt system the best it can possibly be. I'll throw you over to Vince and he'll show you what it's all about. Here we are in this beautiful hilltop caravan. It's just finished being built and it's come from Melbourne, Victoria. But the special thing about this van is we've actually worked with the manufacturers. Ben's worked with the customer to make this a super capable caravan when it comes to having an electrical system installed. So the manufacturers have actually done a really good job at running all of the cables for us, meaning we don't have to go drilling holes to a brand new van. It makes more sense to run the cables when the van's obviously being built. Something you'll notice, there's no air conditioner up on the roof here. It's actually going to have a split system air conditioner installed and that means it's going to run a lot more efficient, be a lot cooler in the van and gives us more room on the roof for solar obviously. You'll also notice they've got a Gusto DRS vent. So when the customer goes off road, he's still got the DRS vent, but it doesn't take any room up on the roof. Same again, more room for solar. Literally the only thing that this caravan has on the roof is a roof hatch for the shower, which obviously you need, and that's about it. So we're gonna be seeing how much solar we can fit up on the roof. The plan is for around 2200 watts, which is gonna make for an extremely impressive system, as well as in this overhead cupboard, as you can see, they've run HDMI leads, 12 volt cables, meaning we don't have to run any of those. And then also under the bed, they've run all the cables to here too. So while this might look like an absolute mess to some people, it's actually really well thought out when it comes to the manufacturers. They've run all of the cables to the one area for us, which means most of my works here saves me a lot of time running cables, etc. Basically, we've got all of our cables, so we've got our air compressor cables, we've got three lots of eight mil running from the roof for our solar. We've also got the Anderson plug cable running from the front, which is gonna be for our DC-DC chargers. We've got all of our 240 volt cables from the inlet out to the air conditioner, all labeled correctly, which means that I can basically lay everything out. We're gonna do three 300 amp hour Sherby lithium batteries, big three KVA inverter, the lot. So the fact that they've actually run all of these cables makes for a lot better installation. The fact that it was done during the manufacturing stages means we don't have to go drilling holes through a brand new caravan, saves them time from having to hook up all their equipment and saves us time from having to run all of the cables. So Hilltop, take me hat off to you. It's time to get into it, eh? Thank you, Vince. Let's have a bit of a look at some of the nerdy stuff. So obviously in terms of just looking at the spec sheet, you'd look at this and go, hey, it's not no different to any of your other big 12 volt installations, but there's a few cool things going on here that I want to touch on. So we'll go through our standard stuff that we always talk about, the solar, the DC-DC, the battery bank, but then I want to talk about those few key details which really sets this 12 volt system apart from a standard 12 volt Victron system. I say standard, but it's pretty high end regardless, but we'll talk about it. So solar array, right off the rip, we have 2,190 watts of solar on there. So we went 10 watts short of our 2.2 kilowatts that we were aiming for, but 2,190, that's not too shabby for a standard caravan. That's made up of nine 200 watt solar panels and then three 130 watt solar panels. So very, very quick solar charging speed right there. We've got that married up to a 150-100 Victron MPPT and then two separate 100-50 MPPTs. So three solar controllers there, 200 amps of total output between them. Makes for very quick charging of the solar array. And then we've got two 50 amp Orion XS using the new DC DC chargers from Victron. Obviously, 100 amps of charge from the customer Chevy Silverado that he tows it with. Uh, we have tested that one. We do tend to get about 80 amps of charge under typical alternator load without working it too hard. So we're pretty happy with those results. 200 amp solar array, 80 amp alternator charging setup. Then, of course, we need to be able to take all that power. So we've gone with three separate 300 amp Sherby lithium batteries. We've machined up some aluminium interconnects to connect them all together and then ran 120 millimeters squared to our Lynx distributor. We've kept the, the cable runs nice and short there. And that's obviously going to help us cope with those super high currents we're dealing with on this 12 volt system. 
Now there's some neat things about this system that sets it apart from a typical high-end 12 volt Victron system and uh, we'll go through those now. So starting with one of the key ones, obviously the whole reason you'd go a system this big in a standard caravan is primarily to run an air conditioning setup. Now as Vince briefly touched on about the split system air conditioner, we aren't running a typical caravan style one. What the customers have actually done is they've gone to another company, Mern Industries. Now they actually have fitted the outdoor unit on the A-frame, they fit the indoor unit just above the bed there and they've folded up some sheet metal and stuff to protect all their ducting and piping and cabling that goes out there and then what they've done for us is they've tossed a 2.5 millimeter squared flex cable just under the bed same way Hilltop's done for all their other wiring and what we've done is we've wired that on an independent AC circuit so we'll touch on that in just a moment but basically by doing this split system air conditioner setup instead of a typical caravan roof mounted one it's gonna be much quieter it's gonna use a lot less energy and it'll work a lot better in a, in a typical caravan so they'll use a lot less power it means our same high-end battery bank that might be able to run a typical caravan air conditioner for eight, nine, 10 hours can nearly run it for double that on a split system air conditioner while cooling better and being quieter. So pretty cool sort of setup. So we've taken the features Victron give us and really used them pretty heavily on this system. So one of the big ones that we've taken advantage of is what's called power assist. So the idea here is that you can take power from mains or from a generator or whatever, and then you can get the MultiPlus to actually boost that power. So typically in a caravan, you've got your 16 amp plug on the output. And if you plug into mains, you can use 16 amps. Simple as. What the MultiPluses actually support though, is you can take that 16 amps, and then they're 3000 watts, which is 13 amps or so. They can actually take that and add it to it, as long as you cable it to, to take advantage of that. So this particular caravan actually could use, in theory, 29 amps of AC when they're plugged in and the inverter's helping it out. Now we've cabled it by having a 16 amp circuit, which runs the entire caravan, your microwaves, your toasters, your kettles, as a standard caravan's normally hooked up. And then the split system air conditioner, we've put it on its own 10 amp breaker. So the idea here is a customer can be at a caravan park with their air conditioner running, and then if they then start their microwave and perhaps a toaster at the same time, well, they can actually do that without having to turn their air conditioner off. So it's a pretty nice sort of a scenario, but it just goes to show the sort of level of functionality you can actually achieve from the Victron Energy equipment if you put the extra time and effort into the installation. So pretty cool little feature there, using the power assist function on this 3000 watt inverter, making it push it a little bit further than a typical 3000 watt inverter system can normally do. Then we've taken advantage of some other stuff. So obviously by using the Serbo GX system that supports water tanks, temperature sensors, Bluetooth temperature sensors, all that sort of stuff. So we fitted up obviously water tank monitoring, um, for the water tanks under the caravan. We fit it up temperature sensing, so the customer can actually see what the ambient temperature is, so they can see how well their aircon's performing. They can see what the fridge temperature is, so they can see how well their fridge is coping, especially if they are in you know super hot climates. And then we've also used the temperature sensing under the bed to trigger the cooling fans under the bed as well. So as a lot of you already know, we install cooling fans under there that come on at a certain temperature. And the fans we use are actually a modified computer fan. They're a super long lasting setup. They've got vibration mounts on them to make them really, really quiet. And their design life is about 300,000 hours, so they're not really gonna die of old age. But the key part about it, of course, is it's all well and good for them to not die of old age, but if you don't have them turn on and off and you just try and run them all the time, what it does is it moves a huge amount of dust through your system area, and it means there's like extra cleanup and all that sort of stuff. So despite the super long life fans that we fitted on there, what we've done is we've actually put them on a temperature controller. They only come on when required, which of course means, you know, if it's winter time and it's 10 degrees ambient, you're not running cooling fans for absolutely no reason. So we've put a lot of thought into each and every part of this system and made it as bespoke as we possibly could, even down to the compliance area. Obviously we need to seal up those three batteries, put them in their own box, seal them off, vent it to the outside, all that sort of stuff. Obviously we've done all that to make sure we are compliant. We've put filters on everything to make sure water and dust can't get up into the caravan. And then we've sealed it all off, but to make it not look like a big ugly box and to allow for a bit of an inspection window, we've obviously laser cut our acrylic lid to just make it suit the, the nice looks of the caravan a little bit better. So as you can tell, this is a pretty comprehensive power system. We think the details are what really set these super high-end systems apart from just a high-end system. So make sure if you're looking at getting a new touring vehicle, you call us from the get-go and we can plan to have a system fitted Make sure a very clean and a very bespoke finish and obviously means you can get your dream caravan or touring vehicle and your dream electrical system right off the bat.